What's going on, everybody? Vince Godrum here, and it is still Saturday afternoon. And, you know, I'm just getting a bunch of questions answered, and someone asked me about my dress and my attire. You know, a number of my videos, you know, I usually have a suit coat on. Sometimes in the wintertime, I'll have a sweat, nice sweater with a Brooks Brothers shirt. People want to know what the great one uh, models his attire after. Some people suggest that Cary Grant. Uh, some people suggest that Roger Moore. Now, I'm a big fan of Roger Moore. If you guys ever seen the show The Saint, it is an awesome show. It's a pre-James Bond show. Uh, you guys got to really see it. But I don't really model myself after Cary Grant. Cary Grant... Uh, was an awesome actor and he was a snappy dresser but uh, because of the neck that he actually has you know a lot of his clothing wouldn't be suitable for me where I model my clothing from is none other than Pelly Blanchard now if you guys have watched Mid-Atlantic Wrestling you'll see Tully Blanchard you know he's always usually wearing a sports coat Sometimes he wears a tie, sometimes he doesn't. Hey, I wear a tie. But, you know, Tully Blanchard was, you know, 220-some pounds. He was a big guy. He was a professional wrestler. So he had to uh, customize his clothes for his physique. And that's why I model myself after him. You know, Tully Blanchard was one of the first really cool bad guys, you know? He was an excellent wrestler, but he was also a great dresser. Now, some people may think I should compare myself to Ric Flair, and that's not true. You know, Ric Flair had his style, and, you know, he looked good. But, you know, Tully Blanchard, I think, overall had a better look. You know, and it may be just the, you know, the appearance, but, you know, uh, you know, Ric Flair, what threw things off as far as uh, he is concerned, is not really his suits. He, he was custom made, all right, but I think it was just that long hair. And Tully Blanchard, you know, he had a, you know, a hairstyle that was typical of the 80s, a.k.a. Michael Knight. You know, he always wore, you know, some nice glasses there, you know, with, you know, deeply tinted. And, you know, the most impressive thing is even though he was a professional wrestler and he wrestled in barns and a lot of major locations, you know, whenever he stepped off a plane, he was always in a business suit. So, you know, any individual that walked by and didn't know who he was, they would just assume that he was a businessman, not some sort of rapscallion. So... That's the answer to that question. Who do I model my attire after? And that would be Tully Blanchard. So let's go over some of the things, again, that Tully Blanchard wears, just to summarize things. Always a nice suit coat, sometimes a tie, uh, you know, a nice shirt, you know, tinted glasses. I don't, you know, I actually used to wear tinted glasses a long time ago. But that was back in the 90s. I don't do that nowadays. You know, I actually have a uh, general leisure set that, you know, you know, those transition lenses to where they'll go dark whenever it's uh, sunny. You know, back in the 80s, you know, they didn't really have those types of glasses. Uh, but, you know, you want to have a pair of spectacles. And that's only if you do wear glasses uh, that are adaptable, not only outside in the sun, but also indoors as well. Only makes sense. So that's pretty much it. So if you guys want to, uh, if you guys have a large physique and you want to look good going down the street, you want to impress, uh, you know, ladies or men, I'm not sure what your preference is. I would draw your attention to some YouTube and look up Tully Blanchard, see some of his promotions.
And you know, I think you'll be quite entertained because not only was he a snappy dresser, like I said, he was also a consummate performer in the ring and also a WWE Hall of Fame member as a part of the Four Horsemen. So you have style, you have athleticism, you know, whenever he got on the mic, he can also cut a good promotion as well. So overall, you know, I ultimately aspire to be like Tully Blanchard. Now, I did attempt res to be in pro wrestling, which, you know, that didn't work out too well. But I think I've done pretty well for myself overall. You know, you, you can't do everything, you know, honestly. But that's all I got to say today, people, on that. And this is the final video I'm filming for today. So I'm going to head on home after I do a little bit more work. But you guys, take care.